Hey, what's up? In this problem, we have to find the Laplace transform of e to the 2t times the sine of 3t times the cosine of 3t solution. So whenever you see a sine and a cosine like this, you want to think about the identity sine 2x equals 2 sine x cosine x. And then you'll notice there's no 2 inside this Laplace. So if we divide both sides by 2, we have, writing it backwards, so sine x, cosine x, you can think of this as one-half sine 2x, right? The 2 is in the bottom, but you can rewrite it as one-half sine 2x. Now, our x here is 3t, right? So we can replace our, three, our x here with 3t. So then we have the sine of 3t cosine of 3t equals, and then it's 1 half, and it's sine, and then it's 2 times 3t, so it's going to be 6t. All right, good stuff. Let's go back to our Laplace now. So now we can rewrite this as the Laplace transform. We still have that e there, so e to the 2t. And then all of this, right, all of this is this. This is times 1 half sine 60. So now we're in a better place, right? We can pull out the 1 half. So 1 half Laplace e to the t sine of 60. So now what we can do is we can use the first translation theorem or the shifting theorem. It basically says whenever you have an e inside your Laplace, you can drop the e and replace it with the shift. So this is 1 half. We'll drop the e, so Laplace, sine of 6t. And then we can replace this with a shift. The shift goes from s to s minus whatever number is here. So in this case, s minus 2. So if you have like the Laplace of e to the at, f of t, the shifting, the shifting theorem says that this is the Laplace of f, and then you just replace the e with a shift, s to s minus a. So in our problem here, a was, was 2. If it was like a negative 2, then you would have a plus 2 here. All right, so what is the Laplace of sine? Well, the 1 half hangs out. The Laplace of sine kt, sine has the k, so it's k over s squared plus k squared. So in this case, our k is 6. So it's 6 over s squared plus 6 squared is 36. And then we have our shift from s to s minus 2. The very last thing to do is just replace all of the s's with s minus 2's. So this is 1 half. Oh, not just 1 half. Whoops. We can simplify, right? 1 half and 6, that's going to give us 3. Beautiful stuff. This is s minus 2 quantity squared plus 36. Right, just replacing all of the s's with s minus 2's, and then 1 half times 6 gives us the 3. So kind of a harder problem, very scary looking question, um, but the trick was to use a trig identity and then use the shifting theorem. Pretty interesting question. That's it.